Hello again, this is Intimath, grade 7, lesson 4, and we're talking about multiplying and dividing fractions today. You're actually really going to like these proceeds because they're pretty straightforward. Before you continue, though, review the main things about fractions that you've already learned. Namely, reducing fractions, converting mixed numbers into improper fractions, and so on. One important thing about multiplying and dividing fractions is that you don't really care about finding the lowest common denominator. You don't need to do that when you multiply and divide fractions. Let's see how we can multiply two fractions. Say you have a fraction 1 half and you want to multiply it by 3 fifths. All you need to do is to find the product of the denominators and the product of the numerators. So times these two numbers and these two numbers separately. Then 3 times 1 is 3 and 2 times 5 is 10. And that's all you need to do in order to multiply two fractions. Sometimes fractions can be reduced in the process of setting up the multiplication. For example, 2 thirds times um, 3 fourths. If I have numbers in the numerator and the denominator across from each other or on top of each other, I can reduce them, finding the greatest common factor. 3 and 3 could be reduced by 3 and turn into 1 and 1. 2 and 4 could be reduced by 2 and turn into 1 and 2. And then I'm en uh, I end up multiplying 1 over 1 times 1 over 2, which is just 1 over 2. When you get the final product, you should always reduce it to the lowest uh, possible fraction, to the simplest fraction. Say if you get 2 over 4 as the product, you need to reduce it to 1 over 2. Now let's see how we should divide fractions. In order to divide fractions, it's important to first learn what reciprocal fractions are. Reciprocal fractions are fractions whose product is equal to 1. For example, 1 over 2 times 2 over 1 gives you 2 over 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So when you are dividing two fractions, 5 over 7 divided by 3 over 5, for example, then it's the same thing as multiplying two fractions, but the first one has to remain the same, and the second one needs to turn into its reciprocal. So 5 over 7 times 5 over 3. Now all I need to do is just multiply numerators and denominators separately and I'll get 5 times 5 which is 25 and 7 times 3 which is 21. And since this is an improper fraction I will try to find the whole part. How many times 21 goes into 25? Once. And then the difference between 5 and 1 is 4 over 21. So the final answer, the quotient of this expression is 1 and 4 21st. This is it for this lesson. Now you need to try and practice the multiplication and the division of fractions. And then move on to lesson 5 of grade 7. I'll see you next time.